Queens. I'm just going to go over some quick misconceptions from this this past week's Educate Quiz before you move on to the next lesson, just so you have everything clear in your heads. So something I noticed that a lot of you struggled with is the difference between an element, a compound and a mixture. So what you need to think about with this is the difference between the bonds between molecules, so a bond and the intermolecular force. So this is something that is very common, commonly confused and all of that. So if it is confusing for you, don't worry about it. That's why I'm making this video. So a bond is, is a very strong holding of two atoms together. So it, and it holds two or more atoms together. So that bond could be a covalent bond or an ionic bond, but doesn't matter which one it is, both of them are strong and they hold two or more atoms together. These atoms can be the same or they can be different depending on the atoms they are. So the intermolecular force is between molecules between molecules because remember we never have just one molecule or one atom by itself it's too small and that doesn't work so the intermolecular forces are what ties into the solids liquids and gases So for example, if we look at this one here, we'll see I have four molecules because the molecules are two or more atoms that are bonded together. So the yellow is one type of atom and the pink would be another type of atom. So we have here, and you can see because of the overlap, they are bonded together. So that's a strong bond. We can't break that very easily. But they are being attracted to each other with intermolecular forces. So I'm representing that by these dotted lines. So they are all attracted to each other and so they'll stay in the arrangement if they're solid, if they're in a liquid, if they so they have a little bit more kinetic energy, they'll move around a little faster. And so these intermolecular forces won't be as strong. And once they're a gas, they're moving so fast that the intermolecular forces aren't strong enough to hold them together. And so the particles, the molecules, will be free to move around. So if we have an atom, that's here represented as a single circle. So for example, this here is one atom. This here is one atom. So that is on its own what it is. A molecule is two or more atoms bonded together. So here, this for an example, is a molecule. This is a molecule. This is, however, not a molecule. While there are intermolecular forces between these two atoms, they are not bonded together with that strong bond. So, they, so it is not a molecule. It is simply an atom. So that's the difference between an atom and a molecule. together. And then we have to look at the difference between an element and a compound. 
So an element is when there's only one type of atom. So for example, this here is an element because there are only the pink atoms here. This here is also an atom or an element, sorry, because there are only the green atoms. Despite the fact that these are in mo as molecules and these are just as atoms, that doesn't make a difference. It's only one type. Whereas this has three different colors, so three different types of atoms, so it, it is not an element. And then if we think about what a compound is, a compound is two different atoms bonded together. So this is not a compound. It is an element because they're the same type of atom. This isn't a compound because it's only one type of atom. This is a compound because we have the two different atoms that are bonded together. This is not a compound because they're not bonded together. There are still those intermolecular forces between them that are holding them close together, but it's not bonded together, so it is not an element. Sorry, not a compound. And then we will look into the idea of a mixture. So this is two or more different elements or compounds not bonded together. So for example, this is not a mixture. It's what we call a pure substance. This is not a mixture because they're bonded together, but each thing in here is the same molecule. So they're all the same compound, so it's not two different compounds. This is a mixture because we have two different elements that are not bonded together. This is also a mixture because we have an element and a compound that are different that are not bonded together. That doesn't mean there's no intermolecular forces between them. There are still lots of intermolecular forces between all of these different things in this mixture, but they're not all bonded together. I know that was a lot, there's a, and it is very confusing. Rewatch the video if you need to, but I do want you to have that all clear in your head before we move on to the topic this week.